Aisha, what are you thinking? I am thinking about our picnic. We had so much fun. Oh, I wish I could see where you went. Sure, I had taken some pictures which are saved on our computer. I can show them to you. Wow, these pictures are so beautiful. I have a doubt, Aisha. How did you get these pictures on your computer? Did you carry your computer on your picnic? No, Jiggy. I copied these pictures from the camera to the computer. These pictures are now stored on my computer. Do computers have boxes to store pictures? No. I will explain it to you. Do you remember the alphabets that you learned as a kid? Yes. I remember them. So, whatever you learnt as a kid is stored in your memory. Similarly, the computer stores all the information it gets into its memory. The computer memory is like our human brain. Generally, a computer has large internal memory which can store huge amount of data. data stored in memory That's a good question. The computer stores the data in the form of zeros and ones. These zeros and ones are called binary digits or bit. A computer language consisting of binary digits is known as binary language. The computer understands only binary language. So when we copy our photos to the computer the computer converts our photos into zeros and ones and stores it in its memory Mm so how much data can a computer store That depends on the storage capacity of computer Just like milk is measured in liters and vegetables are measured in kilograms Your computer storage capacity is measured in nibble, byte, kilobyte, megabyte and gigabyte. I am confused. Let me explain. You know that a computer stores data in ones and zeros. Each of these digits, 0 and 1, is called a binary digit or simply bit. A nibble is a collection of 4 bits. That is, one nibble is equal to 4 bits. A byte is a collection of 8 bits. Generally, the storage capacity of a computer is expressed in terms of bytes. 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes. 1 megabyte or 1 MB is equal to 1024 kilobytes. Similarly, 1 gigabyte or 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabytes. Do you know a 500 page book will take less than 1 megabyte of storage on a computer? It's very interesting. I want to know more about memory devices that can store data. There are different types of memory devices used in computers to store data. The memory of a computer system is classified into two categories. They are primary memory and secondary memory. The primary memory is one of the most important parts of a computer. The primary memory is a memory which is directly accessed by CPU. It can be used to store and run the software installed in your computer. Primary memory is classified into two types: RAM and ROM. RAM stands for 
Random Access Memory. It is also known as Read or Write Memory. This is a volatile memory, which means if the power supply to the computer is switched off, the data stored in RAM will be lost. The data is stored in RAM temporarily. ROM stands for Read Only Memory. It is a permanent memory. ROM stores only the important programs required for execution by the computer. It does not lose information when power supply is switched off. And what is secondary memory? The secondary memory is a non-volatile memory. This means the data in the secondary memory will not be lost if the power supply to the computer is switched off. It has a large storage capacity to store data. Hard disk, floppy disk, compact disk and DVD are some of the examples for secondary storage devices. Our picnic photos were stored in the computer hard disk. Hard disks are installed within the computer. A hard disk is a collection of circular disks. It is made up of polished steel known as platters. These platters are coated with magnetic material. The read-write head is present at the top of the disk. These disks rotate at a very high speed of about 3600 revolutions per minute. Next is the floppy disk. The floppy disk is a storage device which is a single circular plastic plate coated with a magnetic material. This plate is packed in a stiff jacket. At one end of the floppy disk, there exists a metal cover which can be slid. When this metal cover is moved aside, we can see the flexible plate which contains the data. Never touch this plate. If you touch this plate, the data in the floppy disk may get lost. The floppy disk is placed inside the floppy drive. In the floppy drive, the plate spins. The circular disk in the floppy disk spins at 300 rotations per minute. Also, the floppy disk comes in two sizes, 3.5 inch and 5.25 inch. It can only store 1.4 megabytes data. Yes, the storage capacity is very low. That's why we don't use floppy disks anymore. We now use compact disks. The compact disk is a circular disk used to store wide variety of information like videos, music, images and many other files. DVD is similar to compact disk. DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disk. It can hold 25 times more data than a compact disk. So Jiggy, now you know how computer stores data. Yes Aisha, thank you. But all this learning has made me so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let us summarize what you have learnt in this video.